What's up guys? Today I'm going to talk about the Mac Automator. I was always a little scared of the Automator since it sounded somewhat complex and it sounded like it required some background encoding, which I definitely don't have. And while I've only just started playing around with it, it's really powerful and it can save you a ton of time and headaches if you start to use it. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly rename a folder of images. And in this example, let's just pretend that I don't know how to rename images when I export from Lightroom. So we've got a folder of images from my trip to Australia, and as you can see, they are a complete mess. So in the past, I'd have to go in and click and rename these manually, and it's just a huge pain. So let's take a look at a closer and easier way of doing this. So we are going to launch Automator, and I do that by hitting Command Spacebar, which opens Spotlight, start typing in Automator, and then hit Return. And that launches the program. So the first thing you're going to do is going to hit this application icon here and choose. And then we're going to scroll over to the library menu, and we're dealing with files and folders today. So click on the files and folders, and it brings up all these options. So the first one that we want to deal with is ask for finder items. I just click on that and drag it towards the center window here. And the only thing you need to do here is click on allow multiple selections. By checking this, I now have the option to click on and select more than one image at a time. So if I want to deal with more than one image at a time, that's a really important thing to do. The next thing that I need to uh, manage is rename finder items. So I click on that and drag that into the window as well. It's going to ask me, would you like to add a copy finder items action so that the copies are changed and your originals are preserved? That's not what I want to do. I want to rename the images uh, in a more systematic way. So I'm going to say don't add. And finally, I'm going to reveal finder items. So I click on that and bring that over here. All that's doing is it's just going to show me that the automator ran successfully and show me the changed items at the end. So the next thing that I want to do is I just want to change a few settings in here that are important. For me, I'm going to change the naming system because it's dealing with photographs. I'm going to change it to sequential. So make sequential and I'm going to give it a new name, which is we'll call this Australia. And this looks good. After name, start number looks good. Separated by I'm going to change this to underscore, which is what I use universally across the Mac platform. And I'm going to make all my numbers three digits long. So this right here just shows you an example of what the output name is going to look like. The most important thing to do here is to click on options, this little type tag right here, and then show this action when workflow runs. This is really important. If you want to save this um, automator and use it over and over again, you definitely need to click this. This will allow you to open this up and make any changes in here. So if I want to rename this to, let's see, Madagascar for my next trip, I can do that, or I can change any of these settings. So that's going to launch that every time I use the automator action. So I'm going to save this because I do I do want to use this again. So Command S or come over to File and Save, and we're going to put this in my automator automation uh, tab. So we're going to call this Batch Rename, and the important thing here is to change application to Workflow. Don't quite know why, but that's important. And then hit save. So I'm just going to close this up just to show you what it looks like. Now, in automation, I have this new thing called batch rename. And if I double click it, it will launch the automator program. And I want to run this now just to show you what it does. So click up here and click run. And it's going to ask me, where do I want to find the images to run this program? So I'm going to go into this folder here. And by clicking on the first one and shift clicking on the last one, I select all the images, hit choose, and now it opens up that other, the second part. Again, I want to make sequential. I want to name it, let's call it Sydney, because this is where these photographs were actually taken. So Sydney. Everything else looks good. And hit continue. And because I said reveal finder images, it's shown me what it's done. And so it's quickly renamed all those images, Sydney, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. Really quick way of renaming all your items rather than having to go in and do it manually. So I hope this is helpful. 
Again, I'm just scratching the surface of what you can do with this automator uh, program. It's really beautiful. I don't know a lot about it, but this one I think is really helpful, particularly for photographers. So I hope it helps you out and look forward to hearing from you. So thanks again.